You've also been involved in the dealer side with a very progressive dealer group, a very successful one. From your perspective, can you share a little bit more about the dealer mindset when it comes to building new revenue, you know, and new revenue streams within the operation? Yeah, absolutely. And you're right about uh, being with a very progressive group with the Florida family and back. It's been a great mentor and teacher. Yeah. And I, from a retail perspective, at the beginning of your your show, you talked about the changes that are occurring. My friend George at Presidio calls it normalization. Yeah. So right. you've got a, a situation where your uh, profits are down. Profits are down about 36%. They're still above where they were in 18 and 19. But they're being squeezed in the market itself because of interest rates and demand. So dealers are looking to do two things, expand their volume and reduce expenses. And so that this is the entrance into the commercial business for those that are not in it, provide the opportunity to vote. And especially with programs like what Work Trucks has, you can change some of the lead providers that you have and some of the retail programs that are redundant and focus in commercial, which is a new market segment to develop. And it's trucks. And as it's, it's, Captain said, they're very, very, very profitable. And at the same time, oil. And then, so the, the dealers that are in commercial are doubling down, expanding their organization, adding professionals. And those who have in their market area not been involved, they recognize, you know, Jim, about 25% of the dealers do commercial business. 75% of the dealers in their market that they complain about every day how many dealers there are and how much competition there is. <laughs> That's right. 75% of the market's open. Uh, and so it's a, a great field of opportunity, and it's one that will be long-term. And it's an introduction to mobility. Because yeah. you're not just selling a vehicle, but you're taking care of that customer's needs, repeat purchase, use vehicle disposition. Uh, and now f &R, uh, has become a, a new source uh, with a lot of new companies getting involved in commercial, some of the smaller uh, uh, construction companies, plumbers. Sure. Uh, f and is there too. So That's right. from a retail standpoint, couldn't be a better time to be in. There, there's no question about it. And as you and I have spoken about before, Catherine, and I know, Jim, you, you agree with this. You just kind of touched on it there about the size of the market and the potential that it's got. But behind every one of those steering wheels that are driving those commercial trucks is somebody that needs a vehicle for their family, for their spouse, for their children, for the, you know their neighbors. And I think dealers have a tendency to, to forget that.